Summer heat has arrived in the Magic Valley with a vengeance. I'm your Twin Falls neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton. With hot temperatures, excessive heat warnings in the forecast for the days to come, I asked local paramedics what you can do to stay safe. Um, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. We're all looking for ways to cool down. So, but we spend a lot of time in water. That's how we've been living. Kenzie Zarn uses many of the tried and true ways to beat the heat, enjoying the splash pad at the Twin Falls Downtown Commons. We came here to get wet and cool down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As the Magic Valley hits triple digits for the first time this summer, being aware of how quickly it can get hot is important. We know that in the last couple years we've had record breaking heat, and this year is going to be no different. Randy Morris has been a paramedic and educator for 34 years and has seen a lot of heat related injuries. People oftentimes say, I've worked outside all the time, and I know, you know, I usually feel myself get a little bit sick and then I just slow down, but sometimes they just, especially when it gets hot fast, like it's going to do in the next few days, they, they don't realize how fast it can catch up to them and they can get behind the eight ball. Historically, the U.S. has seen about 1,500 heat-related deaths each year, according to the Department of Health and Human Services. With last year's record heat, that number jumped to about 2,300. If you're thirsty, you're already behind the eight ball, so you need to stay hydrated before you feel thirsty. The next things that we tell people to look for is if you start to just sweat profusely, if you get cramps. So typically the first sign that you're actually getting to heat exhaustion is you start to get cramps in the big muscle areas, the stomach, the legs, the back. So if you're starting to get cramps, if you're feeling nauseated, um, if you find that you're not sweating anymore, that's starting to get into the dangerous uh, heat stroke. For Kenzie's family, prevention also comes in the form of cool and frozen treats. Made a lot of homemade ice creams and pop, it lived off popsicles yeah. and it, it's hot, it's hot for me. Recognizing signs of heat stroke and heat exhaustion could save lives. We'll outline those symptoms in this story on IdahoNews6.com. I'm your Twin Falls neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton, Idaho News 6.